every database that we have can be mounted or dismounted and doing so will determine if the Microsoft Exchange Information Store service will be able to access that database. There are definitely times when a database should be dismounted for certain actions and typically you'll be told when those times are. However, for certain backup types called offline backups or for other reasons, you may need to dismount the mailbox manually. So to do that is pretty simple actually. If you just select the mailbox, you can see the icon has the little database and the little mail folder there. If we click the link here, Dismount Database, it asks us if we're sure about this. We say yes. And remember, once you dismount that database, your users will not be able to send and receive mail through it. So you want to make sure that this is at a good time for your users to dismount the database. So here you see there's a difference now in the icon. There's a gray circle with a down arrow here, and that indicates that the mailbox database is dismounted. If we select it and click Mount Database, here you can see it remounted. So we hope you found that helpful, and we'll see you in the next lesson.